This is a very unique video where I just got a 25 book submission back from CGC, fast track economy, mostly silver and bronze age stuff. And there's examples of every single grade, multiple copies between a 3.5 and an 8.5. So it's a really cool opportunity to see books that were graded at the exact same time and to find those minor little differences between the different grades. And hopefully we can all become a little bit better at grading comics ourselves. Stay tuned. Rise Comics. First up, every single book here will be available exclusively at a live sale tomorrow, Friday, March 25th, 2022 on my Instagram page. And we're going to be joined by Skeleton Key Comics. Sammy and Tony from Skeleton Key Comics are going to join us. And uh, this will be the, the first time where I ever do this where I have books that are going to be available exclusively first at that live sale. Every single one is going to be listed below FMV. That's one thing that I pride myself in with my live sales is you can rest assured that if you're buying a book, it's below FMV. It's below the most recent sale on eBay um, because it, you know I've attended live sales before where they put up a, a book and it's you know three or four hundred bucks and you don't and you really want the book but you don't know if it's a great deal. You don't have time to go over to eBay and check the prices. I do all that work for you. I look up the prices right before the sale, you know, the week of, and make sure that they are the lowest listed price. That is below the lowest listed price price that's below the most recent sales so that you can just know if you buy a book in my live sale, you're getting a great deal. We also do a monthly giveaway over at BriceComics.com. If you sign up for the newsletter, you're entered to win a monthly drawing for a free slab. This month is the first appearance of Jubilee. And we also do a monthly giveaway on the YouTube channel. But this, this video is associated with the $100,000 collection that I bought. And I'm doing a special giveaway that will be for all of the videos associated with that collection. I'll put links in the description. If you haven't watched those videos, you can go enter the giveaway for all those. And we're going to give away a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 298 in a CGC 9.2 white pages. First Todd McFarlane on Spider-Man. Just an incredible book to add to any collection. And also uh, two raw books here, Thor 124 and Thor 127. So comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and you're entered to win that special giveaway. And then every other video is the normal monthly giveaway. All right, so here we go, starting off with the 3-5 X-Men number three, first appearance of the blob, and the graders notes say that there's light creasing to cover, light tears to cover, staple detached at the top of the cover, and very light staining to the cover. So as you can see, I mean, it presents great from, from a distance. You really have to hunt for these things, but there you can see that top staple has pretty much sunk all the way through. Luckily, the bottom staple is still hanging on, um, but there's, there's heavy creasing to the cover, um, and tears to the cover throughout. There's heavy wear on all corners and, you know, tears, um, you know, throughout the book. It's a 3.5, and I do remember that this book had a lot of staining, like fingerprints and gunky stuff that was just really hard to get off. We did a great job cleaning it, but sometimes with those fingerprints and that gunk, um, you just can't get everything and there's a little bit of residue. So it says light staining. If I had submitted it without cleaning it, it would have been heavy staining, would have gotten even lower grade. So here we have a 3.5 um, Batman. And as you can see, this book presents a lot worse. There's heavy, heavy creasing to all over the book, but there's no staining. So it's an example of like how there's so many different aspects to grading a book. This book looks way better, but there's staining on it, so it's a 3.5. This book looks way worse, but there's no staining, so it's a 3.5. So, you know, when you buy a book and you look at these different options, you know, not all 3.5s are created equal, but this is just a great Joker cover and um, a standard issues that you would see in a 3.5. There's pieces missing, uh, small pieces. There's heavy wear all the way up and down the spine and heavy creasing to the cover, which is very typical for a 3.5. So now we're stepping it up a little bit. We're getting into the 4.0 and the 4.0, you can see, you can noticeably tell that the 4.0 looks a little bit better than the 3.5. And the 4.0 in particular in this case just has less heavy creasing to the cover, right? So here's one crease line to the cover, whereas with the 3.5, you have creases going every which way. 
So you can definitely tell the difference between a 3.5 and a 4. Um, also, that's acceptable in a 4 is heavy, heavy, heavy spine wear all the way up the spine, color break the entire way, chunk missing at the top, heavy, heavy wear on this edge as well. This is 4 out of 10. It's a 4.0. What a great book this is, the second appearance of Magneto, second appearance of Scarlet Witch. I don't know why they still have the Scarlet Witch in green there on the cover and she's red inside the story that's just too funny amazing spider-man 121 and here you can see it looks a little bit better than the 4.0 that 4.0 had those heavy heavy creases all along the spines and this one just has uh the you know a heavy crease there but not as much issues with the spine there is wear on the edges in the corners it's not perfectly straight this is a four or five and this one in particular has kind of like this misfold where the cover was kind of misfolded we fixed it up as much as we could i know a lot of people can do a lot better than that but um the the graders notes say moderate creasing to cover very light tears to cover so moderate creasing allowed in a four or five and here we step it up another uh, grade bump in a 5.0 fantastic 449 first full appearance of galactus second appearance of the silver surfer first silver surfer and galactus cover what a book i mean just an iconic iconic cover and it's a 5.0 and so what's typical to see in a 5.0 is heavy heavy wear to the spine all the way up the spine um, you get ticks and creases and whatnot sometimes you'll even see like a reader's crease you know where there's just like color breaking lines all bunched together right here this one doesn't really have that so much um, but you also have some some creases on the cover some definitely some creasing going on here and on the back it actually looks really clean um, we cleaned these up really well. A lot of these had some soiling and stuff, but, but that's a good example of a solid 5.0. Here's another 5.0, and as you can see, we have a lot of the same issues. Just um, heavy spine wear all the way up the spine. We've got some creasing to the cover. Nice clean cover on the back. Um, no staining, nothing like that. Uh, another solid 5.0. Here's another solid 5.0, and as you can see, very similar problems. Heavy, heavy wear on the spine, color breaking spine stress all the way up, but the staples are attached. Um, we've got heavy wear on this edge um, and some creasing on the cover down here. And on the back, we do have a, some uh, tanning, and so they allowed this in a 5.0. I think this 5.0. So the graders notes on this one say light creasing to cover, light foxing to cover, and light spine stress lines to cover. This one, I don't understand why it's a 5.0. This is just so much nicer than the last three books that we looked at. The spines, the spine is just way nicer. The spine still has stress all the way up and down, but it's just way nicer um, on the back. I mean, they're going to call this light foxing. I mean, it looks great. I mean, I would have put this at a 6.0, but you know, what are you going to do? Especially when you have it and compare it side by side. So that's, that's kind of an odd one that that got a 5.0. So here we have a 5.5, which is supposed to be a bump up from this 5.0, but I think this 5.0 actually looks better than this 5.5. Um, but in a 5.5, you know, it's not going to be too much different. It's going to be very, very similar to a 5.0. You got um, spine stress issues all the way. You got some creasing allowed on the cover. This one has foxing and a shadow. So this is a dust shadow. Um, what that's from is the book was sticking out. Like say there's a stack of books and that little edge was sticking out and the dust over the years just accumulated on the cover and actually went into and becomes part of the cover. Um, I've heard some people that are able to reduce that a little bit, but I don't mess with it. It's just, they don't downgrade too terribly for it, especially when it's just a little one like this. Um, so that's an example of a 5.5, five, very similar, obviously, to a 5.0 and a 6.0. So the 6.0, we should be able to noticeably tell a difference, in, and you can. So here you can see that there's way less spine stress, right? It's not nearly as severe 
as some of those 5.0s. You still have spine stress, you still have wear on the edges, you still have the occasional crease, especially um, like that in a 6.0, but it's just less severe than a 5.5 or a 5. Here's another 6.0. And as you can see, the same thing, just less spine wear, but it's definitely still there. You definitely still have, a, a, you know, some noticeable spine wear. Sometimes in a 6.0, you'll have very little spine wear, but something else major going on, like creasing. Um, so this one does have the creasing here on the front cover um, and a little bit of a miswrap. So a miswrap is when the cover goes to the wrong side, either the front or the back, it's different than a miscut. A miscut is when it's not straight. So if this looked, you know, like that's a, that's a miscut and this is a miswrap. All right, so the graders notes on this one say, light creasing to cover, moderate shadow, very light cover tanning, very light spine stress lines to cover. So this one has that sh dust shadow I was talking about and they're calling it moderate, which is bad. It's not light. Um, it's not heavy, it's, it's moderate. Um, so they're definitely gonna downgrade for that and you can see that it's got a sizable shadow on the back as well. But other than that, this book is really, really nice. So I'm surprised that it got a 6.0. I think it would have got more like a seven. As you can see, the spine is, you know, it still has some color breaking stress, but not a ton, definitely nowhere near some of these other 6.0s. So I think they went a little hard on the dust shadow on that one, um, but it is what it is. All right, so here's another 6.0, X-Men 49, first appearance of Polaris and Mesmero and the origin of the beast and just this beautiful Jim Steranko cover. Really, really cool. As you can see, there's some color breaking stress all the way up the spine. There's a crease here in the corner and uh, a little bit of staining up here. So um, otherwise a really nice, very well presenting 6.0. So here's a 6.5 and we should be able to see a noticeable difference between the 6.0 and as you can see, the spine uh, has very little color break. I mean, there's definitely color breaking spine stress there. Um, We've got some creasing here that breaks color and we've got a tape pull on the back. So this is a good example of a 6.5. So here's a 6.5 restored uh, origin and first appearance of Dead Man and the first appearance of Vashu, Tiny and Lorna. So I knew this was gonna get a restored label, but I still wanted to get it graded because it was so nice. It's really nice that it came back uh, white pages as well. So this is slight B1 restoration includes tear seals to cover. And what they're talking about is right here. So I knew there was some kind of adhesive or something um, holding that tear together. Uh, but I still wanted to get it graded because I didn't know what to charge for this book raw knowing that it was restored. Now that it's a 6.5 restored, I can, I can easily put a value on it. If I were to remove this restoration and just cut that chunk of the cover out that has the tear seal, I mean, I think it would drop it down to like a 3.0 or maybe even a 2.5. So um, it's probably not worth it to do that. It's probably better to sell it as is. Here's a great book, especially right now, Doctor Strange number 169, the first Doctor Strange in his own title uh, in the origin of Doctor Strange and this beautiful, beautiful Dan Atkins cover. And being a 6'5", we're gonna see you know less issues with the spine. It's a decent spine, it still has color breaking spine stress. This uh, edge was the one that took it the worst on this book. Um, and a really clean back cover, nice sharp edges. That's a good example of a 6.5. So here's one that I didn't press because it's a square bound book and pressing square bound books are much trickier because you have glue on the spine and the staples just go right through the book. They go directly through. So I could press that staple right through the book. Um, so I still haven't figured out how to press these. So I just cleaned it and submitted it and it came back 6.5. Um, there's an issue there with that corner. There's some creasing down here. 
Um, and it did clean up really nice, but there's some, um, you know, waviness and whatnot. So I'm definitely happy with a 6.5 for this book. All right, Submariner number one came back a 6.5. The graders notes on this one say light cover tanning, light creasing to cover, light pieces out to cover, light tears to cover, very light spine stress lines to cover. So what's interesting about this one, everything is light, okay? So um, no, nothing is moderate or severe. So what, and there's the, the piece out that was the main concern. But what's interesting is they didn't mention anything about the shadow. And in that Blue Beetle book, you know, they said moderate shadow and it looked similar to that. So uh, that's why I think that Blue Beetle book was uh, kind of harshly graded, but, um, and because usually in my experience has been is that they don't really downgrade that much for a shadow like that. And they didn't even put it in the notes on this one. All right, 7.0. So here we should be able to notice a noticeable difference. There's a huge jump in price between a 6.0 and a 7.0, and it's because you're really switching gears into a nicer book. So um, here you can tell that there is, you know, the spine is just much tighter, much less color break. The the edge at the top is sharp. The corners are are, you know, a little bit rounded. Obviously not perfect. Um, but you can see it's just, it's a clean book, a little bit of a corner crunch creasing right there, a little bit of a corner crunch creasing on that one. And it looks like some light foxing to the back cover. So a 7.0, uh, so here we're going to bump it up a step further in demon number one, we got a seven, five white pages origin and first appearance of the demon. And, um, so we should be able to tell. There's very little issues going on with the spine with with this particular issue. There can be significant issues with the spine in a 7.5. So it's something else. So it says light tears to cover and light, very light creasing to cover. So there's at least some of the very light creasing. And it looks like there is the light tear on the back cover. So you take those two defects out and you're at an 8.5 at least on this book. So you can see how it's only those very minor differences in these higher grade books. All right, so here's another 7.5, Incredible Hulk 141, origin and first appearance of Doc Sampson. And the graders notes say very light bends to cover, very light creasing to cover, very light spine stress lines to cover, very light tears to cover. So everything is very light um, and it presents really well um, and you know if you take out any one of those defects there's four defects listed there um, so you know if you take any one of those out you're bumping up a little bit of a grade all right so here's another seven five marvel premiere number one the first appearance of him as adam warlock and the first appearance of the soul gem um, so uh, light cover tanning light creasing to cover light spine stress lines to cover and very light tears to cover. So again, seven, five, and you can see everything is light or very light and it presents really well. So you take any one of those light or very light things out and you're going up a grade. Like in this one, in 8.5, two bumps up from the, the seven fives we've seen there. Uh, first appearance of Red Sonia and the greater notes say light creasing to cover, light foxing to cover, and light spine stress lines. So there's only three light defects and um, you know they're obviously low enough in severity to make this an 8.5. So here's another example of an 8.5 and the greater notes say very light creasing to cover, very light spine stress lines, very light wear. So three very lights um, and just a beautiful book. Again, it presents really well, just very light issues to give it that 8.5. And you take any one of those out and you might be bumping up to the 9.0. And so now uh, we get a 9.4, OMAC number one, origin and first appearance of OMAC. And this has uh, very light creasing to cover and very light spine stress lines to cover. This is actually a really cool story, a really cool Jack Kirby story. I recommend you guys pick up a low grade copy just as a reader. And so when it says very light spine stress lines, I mean, it is very light. There's just these two color breaking ticks here. 
and the very light creasing is up here on this corner so you know this this goes to show you that everything else about this book is virtually perfect so you have a 9 8 and then you drop it down to a 9 6 because of that and drop it down to a 9 4 because of that so as you can see with these super high grade copies 9 4 9 2 9 6 9 8 you know it's just these minute tiny tiny little defects that bring it down whereas the other grades if you go from a six to a five you might see like a noticeable difference in creasing and whatnot so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful in helping to get the hang of grading this isn't meant to be like an exhaustive course on how to grade books because you can't honestly do that in a youtube video but it is good to get in the habit and that's how you learn how to grade books is you just get used to it, you just familiarize yourself with it and you just get that experience over time. So the more videos like this that you watch and the more comfortable you get with looking at these differences, you'll get better at grading. I really hope to see you over on my Instagram page tomorrow, Friday, March 25th for the live sale where all of these books will be exclusively available first. We're going to be joined by Sammy and Tony from Skeleton Key Comics. Don't forget to sign up for that newsletter, BryceComics.com, and you're entered to win that free slab and comment on this video for the special giveaway of this amazing Spider-Man number 298 in a CGC 9.2 and these awesome raw books. Thanks as always for sticking with me to the end of the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Fries Comics.